When my dad retired in 1957, um, he took a job with Chalk Full Nuts as Vice President of Personnel, but he also had an agreement with Mr. Black that he'd be allowed to participate in the Civil Rights Movement, so he was free to travel, um, you know, as he needed, was needed. And his first assignment was with the NAACP, which was the premier civil rights organization of the time, and he was their national fundraiser. So he literally crisscrossed the country um, raising money for the NAACP, and they raised a million dollars that year. And because of their success there, the other organizations all came after him, you know, wanting th his support. Um, so he, um, the way he worked that through was we started doing a series of jazz concerts at our home um, to raise money for the various civil rights organizations as well as the families of those who were killed in, uh, during the various crises. Um, but he, I remember very well uh, the night he came home and said, because he'd been traveling south and we were watching on television what was going on, on you know, down south and looking for our father. But the night he came home and he said, okay. And we were also integrating our schools in Stanford, Connecticut and in our neighborhood. So he came home and he said, okay, now I've been going down south um, and I want you to find work uh, that you love and, and keep family as important, you know, the most important thing. But we as a family have to have a legacy, and our legacy is social change. So he said our first mission as a family and first, first um, venture out into the movement was going to be the March on Washington. So that was our, my brothers and I, my introduction to the civil rights movement as a movement, you know, and not just as a, um, watching it on television unfold. Um, so it was a very important moment. So this 50th anniversary means a great deal to me because it not only changed America, but it also changed my family. We're in a different phase of, of the, it, we need to have another civil rights movement. And I think this, um, uh, celebrating this 50th anniversary and having this march, retracing the march in Washington, D.C., and having us all reflect on um, the past. Um, is, is hopefully helping us to think about where we need to go with it in the future. I mean, we just had two weeks ago um, my father's um, statue with Pee Wee Reese in Brooklyn where they wrote racist uh, and, and anti-Semitic um, marks on the, on the statue. You know, so the, the amount of hate in this country is, uh, is scary, I, you know, and uh, so we have a lot, to, a long way to go. We have to um, all be cognizant of how uh, what we're saying in our homes and what we're saying in our schools and how we're, how we're and teaching kids you know that we have to care about other people and um, ref, uh, respect differences not to we don't have to be afraid of them or hate them